What's up people? So one of the big reasons why many people are afraid to start a YouTube channel is because of the fear of speaking in front of the camera. I had this feeling when I started this YouTube channel and this can be really intimidating at first but with the right amount of practice you will not only look natural on camera but also connect and be more intimate with your audience which in general will make your videos look way better. In this video, I will give you five tips that will quickly improve your confidence in front of the camera. Let's get into it. So I have been posting videos on YouTube for about a year now. And what I can say is that even till now, I still get nervous in front of the camera. For long, this has kept me from creating videos on YouTube, most of all because of the fear of judgment. Back in class, I was never the person that would speak up. I was more the kind of guy that would sit still and agree to whatever they agreed to. Bennett, do you agree with the others? I have no opinion. A long way has come since then. And actually a big part was through breakdancing. We had an audience, we had like a crew that we battled against, and we had judges that decided who would win the battle. I started to understand that we humans constantly judge each other. So why be afraid? You can't control it anyways. This leads me to my first tip. Don't worry about what other people think. Nothing lasts forever. Although they may make judgments, they're not big enough to be remembered forever. It's like that one battle I had where I slipped off. Nobody cared, life went on. The best thing you can do is just be open in front of the camera and say what you feel so that the audience will understand and have compassion for you. You know yourself better than I do, but I know where your mom lives. Try having control over your thoughts so that you can start shifting your thinking in a more positive way. Once you've reached that level of thinking, trust me, nobody will be able to stop you. For the second tip is try talking to yourself. I talk a lot to myself all the time because I feel lonely. Pick a topic you are passionate about. So Alexa, since I have nobody to talk to, mind if I can talk to you and practice my speaking skills? Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> well, I'm gonna talk anyways. So the Sony a7 III, the goal is to just speak without interruption. The more you hear yourself speak, the more you get used to it. I myself have a high voice that sounds like I've never reached puberty. But in the end, who cares? What matters is what I have to say to you. Oh, and by the way, this is also great for warming up before hitting the record button. Next is to dress up to boost your confidence. Pick an outfit that makes you feel good about yourself. I usually wear my colored t-shirts that I specifically bought for my YouTube videos so that I don't always have to decide what to wear. If you want to wear a suit, go for it, man. The key is to feel confident. I also always shave my beard and uh, comb my hair as if I had a date with a pretty girl. In reality, it's a camera I'm dating. Looking well-groomed gives a more professional look to your videos. This way you can also bring the camera closer, making it feel more personal for the audience. For my fourth tip, if you're struggling speaking freely and remembering critical points, try writing and using a script. Having a script will save you so much time and keep your video structured. Also, when the topic gets really complex, you don't have to struggle remembering all of the important points. Make sure to familiarize Make sure to familiarize yourself with the script. Try not to speak in a robotic voice like Alexa. Fuck you, Bennett. Fuck you too. Work with your hand. Oh shit. Work with your hands. Give more facial expression and overreact. Yes, you heard me right. Overreact. In reality, it might feel like you're over exaggerating, but when you look at the video, it will actually look better and more natural. As for my last tip, messing up is part of being human. Nobody expects you to be perfect. I always try to keep that in mind because the audience likes to see when people are authentic on video. They can more likely connect and relate to you that way. The great part about a video is that you can always edit out the parts that you don't want to show your audience. And don't forget to wash your armpit because they can smell it through the camera. That was stupid.
Don't be too hard on yourself. Show the audience that you're human too. Be yourself and just have fun. That was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what your way was to gain confidence in front of the camera. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer. Thank you so much for watching. Stay positive and remember everybody has something to share. So go out and spread your message.